Morning, folks. And basically, there's a 6.4 down in uh, Antarctic area. Vast area because the idea that when you get down there, I'm just going to show you that actually the solar wind speed is up a lot too. We got this is more than what I seen last night when I gave you a video last night. Uh, and we'll go down. Also, we've had uh, our temperatures rising a little bit. Temperature, okay, on the sun, left. And our magnitude there to the right, that's to pay attention to because we're midway to red. You gotta understand anything close to red is not good. So when it ever starts going anywhere up that, it's not good. So we are getting very high. This is this is when you start watching very closely because we have some ends that are ripping off, and basically this is the best thing I can do because this is a fresh shot. This whole area here is ripping like as if the sun is unzipping its clothes. In a major way like a polar suit okay and it's not cold on the sun okay so we got a major rip right there major riff when you see something like that the sun is very volatile okay and we have the big cmes coming off we got an m uh we're off a lot on our auroral this is fresh auroral we're off a lot on the north and we're off a lot on the south to begin with just because of what's going on and it's not good to have them both off at the same time and that's this M class flare that comes off here. It's going to come south here. I think it is. Spitzer is going to probably get a good hit. Actually, it looks like Spitzer will be pretty lucky. I think maybe uh, NASA is a little bit more up on it than us. And they get it just. Looks like Spitzer is going to get moved out of the way. We're in a good positioning. NASA knows what's going on in the sun. So. And we're going to go down and you're going to show you uh, what we got going on. There's a the coronal. Showed that last night too. We got a lot of activity because that north and south magnetical aurora. And you can see wildly. It's scary that our coronal is almost wrapping around Earth itself and closing up the back end, which would be scary. But I've never seen any scientific ideas of what. That's basically. When, totally no fear here, but ladies and gentlemen, this closes up so bad and tight on the back end. Would we become a moon? Okay. Could we just become a floater and not rotate anymore? You see right here? That's one thing I don't think no too many people have talked about. They always talk about this flip. Let's talk realistically. I mean, the flip possible, but not very slow like we're already doing. But what would happen if we just would become zero and be like the moon and be a remnant where the idea that we don't even rotate anymore? Okay. That we wouldn't even rotate to the sun. Then there'd be a massive exodus towards where the sun is shining 24-7. Or right on the cusp so you could go cool off when you need to and be warm when you need to. So real estate. It's always location, 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 huh, ladies and gentlemen? Location, location, location. So we'll go right on the graphs here. We really didn't look at any of the electrons. And basically, that's our M that I showed you last night. And then we got a bunch of other cross phasing here. And that basically adds up to a lot of C's right there. This is going to end up because when we come down, you're going to see what I was showing you and trying to teach some people last night on the data. And that you here's our bunch of our C's. Okay. And then our M was a, it's a totally different graph here. But the idea that, because this is showing our watts, and basically you see the big spike. And then. These are all of our C's because as long as it meets the line, we got C's. So we've had a lot of C action, okay? Because every up hump is a C flare, okay? These are CMEs, folks, coronal mass ejections. And that's what I said when I showed you the other one earlier with the sun showing that it's ripping its, you know, winter park open. Uh, that's not good, okay? Susceptible for earthquakes big time today would be here and here. And there's pressure that we're showing up here on the north is probably making this that end up causing this quake here on this Antarctic region, basically south of Australia, 6.4 quake. And more than likely, let's go see how much it actually read at because a lot of times it'll end up registering light by RS. By uh, USGS, excuse me. Okay, and that's who reads on here. So let's go. 
And actually, before we go there, let's go check out what we got. Our, we got a new quake. So, and it looks like back up in the state side, 3.4 out in Cali. And that's another thing is, I was trying to show last night that uh, the activity on the West Coast is picking up quite a bit, steadily, almost as getting close to what we've got. Not even, but it's pretty much getting close to what we got the hammer going on over in the. As you can see, a lot of heavy ever since the 6.0 down there. And we keep on getting all this up along the coast. So, something to start being aware of because this is the recent stuff. Okay, and it's all heavy here. It's good to see some breakup area. This is some very stable area right here. But then again, it's not totally susceptible to no quakes either. Okay. So. You never know where you'd want to live in case the shit hits the fan, the proverbial, all right? So remember, this is the one just before the last one right here, the 6.4.